as the coast. And this is going to result in prolonged, very heavy rainfall. This week, the nation braced for impact as Hurricane Florence steamrolled toward the eastern seaboard before pumping the brakes to make initial landfall as a Category 1 storm in North Carolina. Even if you've ridden out storms before, this one is different. Don't bet your life on riding out a monster. This hurricane is likely to have impacts statewide not just our coastal areas. All week long, mid-Atlantic governors urged millions of residents along a three to 500 mile swath of coastal and inland areas to flee from the 400 mile wide cyclone's projected path. Throughout South Carolina, we will have heavy rains, we'll have heavy winds, we're gonna have power lines down, people we need to prepare. And while the Carolinas and Virginia declared mandatory evacuations in some areas, even rerouting interstate lanes to accommodate outbound traffic, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration's hurricane hunters flew into the eye of the raging tempest to collect data. Across the state, it's going to be flooding and the rivers damaging stuff, but um, here it'll be wind, down trees, stuff like that, wind is knocked out. Downplaying warnings, some hunkered down across the region, pulling boats out of the water, boarding up homes, buying up supplies, and safeguarding animals. There's a lot of people in this neighborhood who have lived here for generations and past hurricanes, and it's never really flooded right here before, um, so we're not really all that worried. But the Federal Emergency Management Agency, or FEMA, had sobering words for such notions. We need our message out that this is a very dangerous storm. It's going to impact uh, many of our citizens in, in multiple states, not just on the coast, but definitely in, inland. Amidst heavy rain and intense flood threats, the president echoed federal first responders who said they have all the resources they need to react swiftly. Hurricane Florence is poised to be the latest displacement for Carolina agriculture, which in recent years has let loose a severe weather thrill ride. Though lean hog prices jumped 2% midweek as the storm raged in the Atlantic, producers in North Carolina, with the second highest output in the nation, scrambled to figure out where to stash their swine with 10 to 20 inches of rain forecast. Palmetto state farmers and agricultural officials fear catastrophe for South Carolina's cotton crop, up 10,000 acres over last year to 260,000 acres. Conservative estimates warn of a $2 million loss if the bowls are wrung out ahead of harvest. Officials continue to caution the threat of heavy rains and dangerous flooding as the system trudges inland over the weekend. For Market to Market, I'm Josh Bittner.